Hey guys, I am super happy I got a package delivered uh, yesterday from Jerry's Artorama. If you're an artist and you've never been to the site, why? They have everything you could possibly want or need for every form of art that there is and their prices are amazing so you got selection prices uh, the delivery is super fast the people are awesome you really need to check them out I will of course put a link below to the site and I will also link all the products that I show you here directly so if you see something that you want you just click the link and you're there I was lucky enough to have all of the things that I'm going to show you sent to me for free because they are awesome and they love to support artists they you know they're not just about you know making money and selling products they are actually you know they're invested in the people you know they they care about us which just makes them much more special than just any old company that's just out to make a buck. Let me show you what they sent to me. A two pack of canvases. I apologize since I unwrapped it. I do not remember the name of the brand, but they're they're nice canvases. They're pre-stretched and um, and they're they're sturdy. You know, they're not super flimsy. And the size I picked was 20 by 20. This I didn't even ask for, but the dude was so cool that after I told him what supplies I wanted, he offered to send me these also. He said that I would love them, and I have not tried them yet, but I can already tell that they're going to be great brushes. Um, their brand is Mimic Hog. They are synthetic hog bristle brushes, and this is the Filbert set. You get sizes 2, 6, and 8. I'll take them out. They're super long wooden handles. And they feel super sturdy. Bristles don't look like they're trying to fall out, which is my major that my major pet peeve with anything is, you know, when you're doing a painting and the bristles come out, it drives me crazy. The two, the six, and the eight. Let me read the back of it. It says, bristles load and release both thin and thick paint in a controlled manner. Multi-filament hair design features capillaries that soak up color. Nickel-plated brass ferrules, electro-plated and stain-resistant black. Handcrafted seamless dual crimp reinforced ferrules. That's good. Beautifully balanced long lacquered wood handles. Consistent brush response time after time. Easier to clean than natural hair bristles. Added benefit of being animal friendly. Perfect for oils, acrylics, inks, dyes, gouache, watercolor, ca cassian. I have no idea what that is. I've never seen that word. C-A-S-E-I-N. And egg tempura. Got a cute little pig on the back. <laughs> so yeah. So those are the brushes and I've been an artist for 20 plus years and I do all different forms of media I do you know the, the basic pencil sketching I do uh, you know marker ink uh, pencil uh, colored pencil watercolor pencil I've been dabbling in watercolor paint it is super hard and I'm determined I bought a bunch of supplies I'm going to get the hang of it but for now it's just kind of a big mess whenever I I try but my all-time favorite is acrylic acrylic is what I've done the mo most of and just right from the very first brush stroke I knew that it was my thing it just everything I love everything about it and I was able to pick out two acrylic paint sets from Jerry's 
the first one is this it is Soho Urban Artist Acrylic Basic 8 color set and, but it's big I think they're like 75 milliliters they're big tubes for acrylic paint they're, they're big and the colors you get are burnt umber cadmium yellow light cadmium red medium cobalt blue hookers green mars black titanium white and yellow yellow ochre so you get like the basic colors that you need and then of course for these you can mix these paints and make any color that you could possibly want so yeah they also had one that was i think uh, it was either four or six the basic mixing set it's the same things i think it was missing like the burnt umber and yellow o yellow ochre maybe or maybe the hooker's green because those are colors you can make from other colors but it's a lot quicker and easier to just have the colors there which is why i went ahead and got this set also same brand it's the soho urban artist acrylic but this has 24 tubes and the tubes are 21 milliliters in size these are much smaller to get a really big variety of color and you know since you do mix the acrylic with water it was somewhat you know you you do use water with your acrylic so it it does go a lot further than what you think depending on the size of your painting you know one of these tubes could last you through a few paintings and the colors that come with this are Alizarin Crimson, Azo Vermilion, Burnt Umber, Cadmium Red Medium Hue, Cobalt Blue Hue, Emerald Green, Lemon Yellow, Permanent Green Light, Thalo Green, Raw Sienna, Sap Green, Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Sienna, Cadmium Orange Hue, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue, Cerulean Blue Hue, Doxazine, Violet Hue, Ivory Black, Haynes Gray, Thalo Blue, Prussian Blue, Raw Umber, Titanium White, and Yellow Ochre. And I apologize if I mispronounced any of those. A few of them I'm not 100% sure, like the Azo Vermilion, Azo, Azo Vermilion. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, I'm sure people will correct me below that I've been mispronouncing so many of these, but. Um, and on the back here it says, and this would go for both both of these sets, uh, finest pigment and superior binding, blend of professional quality and performance with economy, perfect for use with brush or palette knife, dries to a lustrous finish on virtually any surface, covers beautifully, and peaks to maintain brush strokes. So, yeah, and the reviews were all good on this brand. Yeah, this reminds me of the Liquitex Basics. I don't know, you know, since I haven't actually used the paint, I don't know, but the look of it reminds me of that. So I'm kind of hoping that it is similar because Liquitex Basics is like my favorite paint and it's affordable. So, so it'd be really nice if this is comparable to that because the prices of this is cheaper than the Liquitex Basics. This is a very affordable paint and I didn't... You know, all the reviews were good. I didn't see anything, any negative comments about it. Now, this, I'm really super excited about these products. Until about a week ago, I did not know that there was such a thing as acryl gouache. I've heard of gouache. I have not tried it yet. Um, from what I understand, it's sort of in between a watercolor and an acrylic. It's like a more opaque watercolor and I've been meaning to try it uh, because people that had trouble struggled a little with watercolor gouache seemed to work really well for them so I'm like that sounds like my thing so then I'm looking through the things that I can choose from to get them to send me and I see this acryl gouache and I'm like what and it's basically leaning more towards the acrylic side than the watercolor if that makes sense um there are a few differences between the gouache and the acrylic 
like it um, just the the speed in which it dries the way it dries um, you know just the spreadability is just little minor things so it'll be um, probably take a little getting used to when I first start using it but I'm so excited so the ones I picked are this and the the brand of these is Turner Colorworks and again really good reviews on the Turner paints and they have a, a giant selection of paint so if it turns out to be something I like I'm definitely going to be getting more because they have like pearlescent and metallic colors and this some really cool and um uh, what are they called uh interference shades just things that sort of change color with the light and the way you move them and I've always been super interested in things like that so i made my own duochrome watercolors uh, which is actually super easy to do um I've not made paintings with them yet because I still suck at watercolors, but I have all the watercolor paints I could, I, I need to do it. But um, so yeah, I was really, uh, really kind of stoked when I found out that this brand also has the duochrome type paints. But for now, what I got is the this one's called the Japanesque color. Sorry. Um, you get 12 20 milliliter tubes in this set and it's a nice little sturdy box so I can do this without the paints coming out there you go now I really I picked this set because of the the little pastel colors they just look so pretty you know it's like different it's not like most basic sets you know the colors that you get these are quite different you do get a white and a black and then it looks like a yellow red this honestly it's like a cross between a pink and a, a coral and this is like a I don't know almost like a moth color a green like a hunter's green sort of um, a burgundy a flesh tone a pastel green, pastel blue, turquoise, and a blue, and then of course the black. So, cannot wait. I can't wait to start working with these. It's so cool. And this, this is by far the coolest uh, paint set I've ever gotten. It's amazing the things you get with this. I'm just, I was so thrilled with this. Let's see the back. And this is called Smart Set Acryl Gouache. And slides up like this. And look at there. Very cool. Very sturdy plastic container. And here's the cool part. Like I love this. So you pop these. And ta-da. You have a decent size nice sturdy plastic palette so you got 14 uh, little small wells and then you get the two big ones in the middle and the four other so I mean anyone's used the palettes knows you put your paints here that you're going to be using you put them on these in the little ones and then you just kind of drag them out and you can mix your colors in there or you can mix it with water whatever you want to do Okay, and then really careful not to tip this too much. But you get a bamboo cloth, which is just like a little. Um, it reminds me of those washcloths that you can get in the grocery stores. They're the blue ones. They're like disposable. Um, I can't remember what they're the what they're called. I think like handy wash or something like that handy cloth but I mean I don't know how reusable this thing is but it's just a cool little bonus thing you get a ruler and it's real sturdy um, I haven't figured out and I'll probably feel dumb when I realize what it's for but this it's got a real deep little crut like line going through here 
so I don't know what the purpose of that is, but yeah, it's a nice ruler. Comes with four brushes, and these look like really decent brushes. I can't tell the sizes of, of them because it is in what looks like Japanese, but you get two of these, and this looks like, I don't know, like a, maybe a two, two or, yeah, two or four, and this would be more like a, I don't know, help me out here, like a, a six or an eight, but these are uh, flat brushes or brights not real thick so I don't be I don't think it'd be considered a wash brush but and they feel really soft and it doesn't look like any of the bristles are coming out so I'm happy about that and then these and these brushes are not cheap like I looked I was pricing some on Amazon and I mean the ones that are, are cheap prices the people were just constantly complaining that the bristles were coming out these those bristles are in there so I'm thinking these aren't cheap brushes and these are well they're round brushes but these are like the the Japanese style um, I have a few that are like this and they're they're bamboo the ones the other ones they're always bamboo um, And they come, some of them come in little sets that have the little box with them. But these are used very a lot in watercolor. But they're basically round brushes. The difference comes with the shape of the handle, basically. I'm not putting this back on because it seems to be a few of these bristles are coming out but I think it's because of the way I had this put back on there so we'll see I'm gonna actually do the paintings I'll do little reviews on things like that but looking at them they look like nice brushes you can usually spot a cheap brush from a mile away okay and then you get you get uh, two four six 11, 11 little tubes of paint, 11, 11 milliliters. So these are tiny little tubes. These aren't going to go but so far, but with the acrylic gouache, you do use a ratio of two to one with your paint and water. So it, it'll go further than if it was just a plain acrylic paint because you are using more water with it. And then it comes with this because apparently the this acrylic gouache or I think gouache in general uh, is pretty hard to get off of a palette like it will stain your palette now of course I mean if I'm using this with this set and I really it doesn't matter to me if it's stained but it comes with a little thing of palette cleaner which is pretty cool and you get two big tubes these are 20 milliliters almost twice the size of these of white so it's kind of hinting around that you really want to use white with these colors you know you want to <laughs> dilute it down with the white and last but certainly not least you get and this is so cool color mixing cards so on the back it's got like little directions and oh, you cannot read that at all it's written in like a baby blue come on focus there you go so it tells you what colors and how much of the color that you want uh, the ratio of like one to one or two to one and out of these 11 color well 12 colors if you count the white out of those 12 colors you can make 120 colors I mean come on how cool is that and I'm sure this would apply to other paints too you know not just these specific paints I mean you might have to the names might be different but it gives you a really good idea of what colors to mix together to make what um, I mean because some of them are surprising you might think what that wouldn't those colors wouldn't make that but it does I mean you know, like, 
everybody knows red and yellow make orange you know there's certain ones that you just know but I mean 120 colors I don't know how to make 120 colors like um, like these two these are quite if I can get them to come out these are really similar there you go really similar but this one is a one to four ratio violet to white and this is a one to one a violet and white and then you got ooh, that one just looks it almost looks white but it's a one to twenty ratio violet to white so it's very cool I can't wait to play around with this I'll probably use up all the damn paints just mixing the colors just trying to make colors but um, and after a while I'm sure it just you know you'll just know what you need to mix to make any colors you want which is very cool you know sometimes you might want a certain color for your painting and you just can't find the color anywhere so and then when you get done just put the little palette back on top it snaps back and it's done love this thing I love it if you know anybody that's an artist this would make a perfect Christmas or birthday gift like I would be so stoked to get something like this it's so cool and so happy to be working with Jerry's Artorama um I feel so privileged to you know have found them and I I just hope that I I hope that my videos and my artwork is up to par for them. Uh, I mean, I've been painting a long time, but everyone's artwork is very personal. It's, you know, some people may not get other people's art. And you know what? That's okay. But it's the cool thing about art. It's, it's expressing yourself. And, I mean, not everyone's going to understand everyone. That's just not how things are it, it's not how life is but um, you know my artworks not uh, anything that would be offensive to anyone or anything like that um, I just I really want to make them proud I guess because they sent me so much really cool stuff and um, I want to let them know how much I appreciate it and I'm not telling you to check them out because they sent me free things they are genuinely a good company. That is it for now. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. And keep an eye out and hopefully I will be posting a video of the artwork that I make with these amazing products before too long. Peace.